What is happening? Welcome back. Great video for you today. Uh, exhaust on a budget. Loud exhaust on a budget. Kind of loud exhaust on a budget. Um, anyway, so stock 5 liter F-150 behind me. Uh, this guy was a $285 exhaust kit off of eBay. This has a Magna, Magna Flow, oops, Flowmaster 44 single inlet, dual outlet. So it's the muffler with two tailpipes, basically. It's not a cat back exhaust. Uh, and this guy is universal. You can have the eight foot bed, the six and a half foot bed, the five and a half foot bed, cut it to length, basically. So I think out of the box, this works for the eight foot bed. Mine's a five and a half foot, so I'm gonna have to do some cutting of the tailpipes before I can put the tips on there. Supposedly that's how this works. Let's unbox this bad boy, get this truck up on jacks a little bit so we can work comfortably and uh, see what this thing is all about. Step one is to lay it onto the floor and make sure you got everything. Clamps, hangers, uh, black tips, and everything is labeled actually really nicely. So you got the driver's side, I'm backed in, so I've got the driver's side, passenger side, the letters all match how they go together, and then your Flowmaster 44. So first thing, uh, all right, well, first thing they say to do is to cut the tailpipe off of the back of the muffler and remove the tailpipe. Then start with the driver's side they don't give you instructions in this. They put them in the description on uh, one of the pictures on eBay. So I downloaded the picture and I got it. So it said start with the driver's side tailpipe. Mock that up with one of the hangers so it's in place. Leave everything loose. And then do the same thing with the passenger side. Once that's all hanging there and loose, then you can put the muffler on and find out where you need to cut in front of your stock muffler. Um, so yeah we'll do that uh but this there's two different listings there were for me anyway uh black tips and chrome tips now i've got the platinum so i've got the it's weird so i've got you know the platinum chrome goodies uh, along with the apple k but then i got the black bumper so i wanted black tips now uh, I took a picture, I'm gonna send it to them, but uh, this one don't look too bad, and they're weld on tips, these are not clamp on, okay? They are straight up weld on, they're the same size, uh, size, so once I get this figured out, I'm gonna have to, you know, buff this down a little bit and then weld them on, but uh, right there. Now, granted, that's on the inside. It's gonna be like this, I'm not gonna see it, but still, that doesn't give me high hopes for the rest of it. So to be honest with you, you could just order a couple of clamp-on tips uh, if you want. Maybe find a kit without tips, get your own tips, Not or, or the chrome. Not a big fan of how they powder coated these, or the turnout anyway, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop the tailpipe off, get it out of there, and then I'm gonna mock up the driver's side, check back in with you. All right, it is currently the next day. Um, I'm gonna explain something to you guys that's really important, but here's a cold start so you can hear how it sounds. Cold start time. Nice, nice. So that's the first start. After I got it all installed, everything tightened up. I had no exhaust leaks. Um, so really quick, if you're watching this video and debating about buying this kit, this is gonna be a really important step for you. If you've already bought it, well, I guess this will be important too. Uh, so if you don't weld or you don't have somebody that welds, uh, this kit is not gonna be for you. So the tips are full weld on. Not saying that you can't just Go out and buy an expensive set of clamp-on tips. You can. Um, but I welded hangers on here as well, and I utilized the stock uh, exhaust insulators. So I went down to my local uh, muffler man and bought J-hooks from them, and then 
put them in the stock insulators, ran them down to the tailpipes or the exhaust pipe, and then I just welded them on. The clamps that they give you are the standard garbage that you can buy at, you know, your local auto parts store. But then you have to drill and tap into something or use a, a self-tapping screw. Now, because the stock exhaust is on the passenger side, uh, I was able to utilize those J-hook hangers and weld them on. Now, driver's side, there is nothing. A couple of tricky points is you... Uh, one, I had to drill and tap into the side of the frame rail. Ah, uh, right there you can see it. That one. And it comes down here, and I just welded it on the other side. Now... If that's all you needed to see to know that this kit isn't for you, uh, click off now. Everybody else who wants to proceed or figure out if they want this kit, the rest of this video is for you. I'm going to go through every challenge that I had. Now, mind you, would I do this again for $285? Yes, I would. I put in a lot of labor, a lot of welding, but hey, uh, it, this is, for the seller's point of view, this is a custom, <sighs> custom, this is a universal kit that can be used on many, many different trucks, including Silverados. Um, and they all utilize a three inch inlet, two and a half inch dual outlet. Now this F-150 is two and a half inch inlet. So I had to go down to my local auto parts store and buy an adapter. But let's, oh, let's start on the driver's side here because this is short and sweet. So you've got your brake lines and stuff uh, that are all wadded up there, right? So that was super close to this tailpipe. So I had to zip tie them up and away because I had to keep the tailpipe away from the spare tire or else I'd have to take the spare tire out. This is for sure the ugliest welding job I have ever done. Uh, but I knew nobody was gonna look at it. And welding through that powder coat, I, I got some of it off, but not all of it. There's the tips. The tips look decent. Um, it, if you're not worried about money, buy your own tips. I'm not a fan. Uh, so under here, this side, tailpipe, everything clamped together here. There's the weld on J-hook that I was telling you about. I put through the stock insulator right there. Super easy. And if you're doing that, tack it first. Because there's a lot of playing that you want to do with this exhaust before you get it into the place you want it to be. Okay? Uh, so definitely tack it first because I had to break a couple of tacks and readjust once you get everything tightened up where you want it then go ahead and fully weld everything out all right so let's start at the front here okay i chopped the stock muffler off right at the muffler so then i had a little bit of area to play with good thing i did that because i didn't cut any more off uh, i went down and i got the two and a half inch id two three inch od adapter for five bucks at o'reilly's uh, did not have a three-inch clamp with the kit either, so I bought a three-inch clamp. Here is your uh, Flowmaster 44. Comes to the dual exits, two and a half inch. Uh, got your clamps there, and then your other stock hanger location right there. I'm telling you, it worked perfectly, man. Uh, if you're a welder, go down to your local auto parts store, and they'll they'll most likely, hopefully, sell them to you. Uh, some might even give them to you. But uh, another clamp up there, you want to make sure when you're mocking all this stuff up that you're clearing everything, obviously, over the drive shaft or the rear end. I took my rear tires off, made everything a lot, a lot easier. Uh, yeah. And, you know, I'm not, it, it's, it's a little pitched, but that's where I needed the muffler to be. I'm not worried about it. Uh, all right. $285 uh, for, I mean, it's it works. The kit works. I had to cut quite a bit off because this is a five and a half foot bed. I had to cut quite a bit off of the tailpipes and it was kind of a pain in the butt um, to, like I, I set the driver's side tailpipe where I wanted it, got everything welded on, put up, and then did the passenger side and the passenger side wound up being shorter. Uh, can I tweak that to make it work? Yes, I can. Actually, I think... 
Uh, yeah, one of the sides can come out a little bit more, but I can make that work. I'm not really worried about it right now, to be honest with you. I, it, I notice it bugs me. So I might, actually I like that one. I might chop this one and move it in, but that's not gonna be right now. Uh, I like it, I like it a lot. Uh, but I'm my channel in my opinion is all about budgetary stuff that the everyday person can do and these f-150s Silverados they're all over they're uh, blue-collar choice for vehicles uh, Is it worth the money and my it's gonna depend on who you are and what you want to do if you enjoy welding and doing some custom fab I wouldn't call this fabrication, but uh, yeah, then this is probably for you and you don't mind putting in it probably took me all together figuring crap out it probably took me four four and a half hours somewhere around there maybe even five i don't know i didn't clock it but uh i i like it it isn't very loud but it's a good first step if you want it a little bit louder you can take out that resonator but the only thing about the resonator is you might get a lot more drone um i'm gonna keep mine in because a lot of the time the family goes with me on wherever we're going uh, so this is a nice subtle <laughs> into uh, dual tailpipes, you know what I mean? So it's not a dual exhaust by any means. But I like it, and it's full master muffler. Full masters always sound good in my opinion. Uh, my old F-150, I had the Delta Flow on it. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to uh, catch some more sound clips uh, from inside the cab and everything, uh, and that'll be the end of the video. So... Hopefully everything, this video helped you guys out, uh, answered any questions that you have. If not, comment below. My Instagram and Facebook page is at the beginning of the video as well. Have a great day. Till we meet again. Later. Inside the cab, uh, not bad actually. And a lot of that is the uh, intake as well, but uh, it's actually quite a subtle exhaust. Uh, so like, if I said, like I said, if you want it louder, uh, get rid of that resonator. But uh, I have experienced no drone yet, and I've driven this for a week now, so I'm just picking the video back up for some sound clips.